next news is out of Indonesia. Indonesia's plan to ban sex out of marriage could affect millions, including Bali tourists. Um, this is a bit of crazy news. So the president of Indonesia, Jaka Widodo, um, sorry if I mispronounced that, but he has actually drafted up uh, a bill that's going to be voted on next week that will ban sex outside of marriage, that will ban um, same-sex, same sex marriage, same sex, anything. Um, it will be, you will be arrested if you make fun of the president. Um, and this is his bill that he is trying to get passed. Uh, and, and so everyone I, is, is kind of freaking out. There they're right also now removing they a say, lot of, they're also removing a whole bunch of stuff that uh, human rights, uh, watch institutions that were supposed to keep the government in check. They're also removing all of a lot of that. Right, absolutely. It's it's also uh, you know people can't sell contraceptives there. That's being taken away. Uh, the woman's right to choose an abortion is being taken away. What the hell uh, is happening to Indonesia? Seriously, like well, it, this this gets this gets more twisted here. So so there's Bali, right? And they're like, well, what about what about Bali? Because uh, you know, six million tourists visited Bali last year. Hmm. Okay, um, more than one million of them were Australians. So so the the politicians there are saying, how is this going to affect? Uh, our overall tourism. This is going to be terrible. Um, someone is quoted as saying that the European diplomatic missions of Jakarta have argued to legislators that uh, its provisions, particularly against extramarital sex, will require that they update their travel notices, right, yeah. and lead to a flood of bad press. Yeah, it's going to lead to a flood of bad press. So, so then what they said when they asked some people who are for um, this this bill, they asked. They said, "Well, what about the tourists? Are are your tourists going to face jail for extramarital sex?" Mm. The politician said, "It's no problem as long as people don't know." Well, no shit, dumbass. It's not a problem if people okay. don't know. It's, it's the same thing for the people who live there right now, right? If people don't know about it, how are you going to make a law enforcing it if they don't know about it? So it's it's just. The fact that they feel this was necessary to do, this is um, this is a witch hunt. <laughs> we hear in America witch hunt every day from Twitter from our president. But this this is a bill that is going to target people. It's going to allow them to just imprison people that they don't like. All you have to say is they had sex. All you have to say is that someone's gay. All you have to say is that uh, you know somebody had an abortion or was taking birth control pills, and they go to jail for it. So, by the way, I don't understand why they're doing this. You know, tourism in Indonesia is such a such such a huge deal, and Bali itself it's huge. It's a it's a cent it's a hub of entrepreneurship and big business. And also, this is not just going to hit them with tourism because there's a lot of major giant corporations in Bali and the rest of Indonesia, and they have to think about their employees now, right? Imagine Intel uh, like, well, we have workers here that that are in a relationship and they're not married. Like, am I, are we putting them in danger if we're bringing them to offices here? Like, they have to, uh, you know, a lot of these corporations are going to have to think twice before moving people. You know, economically, it's going to be a disaster. But why? What, uh, I'm trying to understand. These people are not. A lot of people see this and feel like, oh, these politicians are so dumb. They're not dumb. There's always a reason. I just don't know what the reason is. Like, um, some, I wish we had somebody from Indonesia explain this to us. But there must be some, elect, you know, el in elections or something, this might be helping. Like, why is the president doing? Are they hitting? Is there a corruption thing that they're trying to distract from? Are there some well, uh, voting blocks actually, that they're trying to appeal to? Yeah, go on. This has been an ongoing problem, Armin. Back in 2006, um, they tried passing a provision just like this. That was struck down. So this has been ongoing since 2006. But why? What's the what's the point? What 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 are they trying to achieve? Again, they can't. They're not that dumb. This must serve their purpose in some way. But why are they? You're trying right. To, yeah. You're right. But whatever it is, they've been fighting for over a decade to get these these uh, rules passed. Um, and this is the religious groups. Okay, I'm. My, this is the religious groups in Indonesia being a lot more organized than the rest of the population. Because, but, 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 let's give credit where credit is due. Because people have been on the streets in Indonesia protesting this, right? Do you see that, Ellie? The people have been protesting yes. all of this. So kudos to the people that are actually coming to the streets. And please, if you're in Indonesia, actually, no, we shouldn't ask people that because this could put them at risk. But but 
these people are heroes. Some people are not just taking this. People, there, there were huge protests. Um, and again, this is something that is not getting much coverage. I haven't seen much coverage on this, but I know there's protests. Um, again, you know what? The Hong Kong co gets more coverage than Indonesia because this is Islam and people don't want to be like, ooh, Islam bad. But it, right. it, it, yeah, go ahead. Just to let everyone know like how serious this is um, and how, how well organized, like Armin was saying, this is, uh, you know, the, the religious minority or majority being more organized than anybody else. Let's let's talk about how organized they are. They already have the penalties laid out, right? So if you get an abortion there, it'd be a four-year prison term. Um, for couples un who are unmarried but live together as husband and wife, they can be jailed for six months and pay, pay a fine that is equivalent to three months' salary. Right. But okay, so... This is attacking everybody, not just women, not just um, minorities, but everybody in Indonesia. So, and again, remember, Indonesia is, and, and Malaysia are supposed to be some of the most moderate and, you know, Islamic countries out there, right? And for a while, because of capitalism, they were going in a different direction in Islam. But this is the problem with Islam. Okay, you can't just be like, oh, re this is a problem with arguing for reforming is Islam because you're you're sitting on a, on a landmine that is just not going off right now. If you have Islam, it, it, even if it if it's going through a, like a friendly, moderate phase, it, it's just there for it's just sitting there for the next leader that wants to take advantage of it. Right. It, you know, it's like a we weapon that you're hiding under your bed just because yeah. it's like somebody is not using it to shoot shoot people right now. That doesn't mean that you can't you can't grab it every time you need it. This is why reforming Islam is actually extremely dangerous because it makes people not fight it. And it's just let's it just sit there for the next leaders that want to use it. And, and, and another thing is I want to point out is that when it comes to mo most Muslims in Indonesia, they don't actively push for these things but the ones that do push for these things they are the most organized ones and they get they are very connected they become they're very strategic about getting these things done. and religious people are on average are very good at this you know, think about christians in the united states when they were voting for trump people laughed at them like oh look at trump he's not he's not a christian uh, and you, these idiots are voting for him. Look, who, look who's laughing now. They're getting every <laughs> every uh, judge that they want, and they, which is going to last for uh, for many years after Trump is gone. But religious people are good at politics, um, even though they're they're really crap at you know at philosophy. But um, but the thing is, with the other Muslims that are not pushing for this. They also don't want to be seen as they're against it because, again, this is a problem with Muslim Islam, right? Even if you're not a fundamentalist, fall, fall, at, you know, dedicated follower of Islam, just by becoming a Muslim, you think, you know, I probably I shouldn't be. This seems wrong, but I don't want to be anti my religion, so I'm not gonna, either. I'm not going to say anything, or I'm just going to support it without actively pushing for it because, yay, Islam is good. You know, so you know this is a problem with Muslim moderates, right? Because, again, you could take advantage of the fact that they have some allegiance to Islam. I know a lot of Muslims will be against this as well, but most of them are going to be like, I guess I have to support this because it's Islam and Islam is all, Sharia law is A-OK. -okay. So, again, another reason why Islam, in, even in, in moderate form of it, it is, is extremely dangerous and should be fought against. But we need to make a show about Indonesia. Like, we need some why is it so hard to find some atheists from um, from uh, not Malaysia, Indonesia, from Indonesia to come and educate us about what's happening there? Like we need to. From, what, it... from what I've seen, it's because they're scared. Oh yeah, okay. We've had a lot of people yeah. from Indonesia say that they're they're scared. So. Um, Soraya is saying this bill in Indonesia may be some diversion to hide internal politic political agenda. Yeah, that's what I said. Everyone knows this bill will not stand to pass. Really? Would it not pass? That's great if that's true. I don't know. Banksy is saying, Armin, that that's what I was telling you about Islam being a cancer that needs to, uh, a firm hand for from time to time. Well, you don't need... You, uh, really, Banksy? You're telling me Islam is cancer? Really, you think that's news to me? You ha do you know what we have been doing in the past 15 years? It does need a firm hand, but you don't you don't fight Islam. But I don't know what you're are you referring to the past news that we were covering? Because if that's what you're referring to, uh, if you want to defeat Islam, 
You don't do it by victimizing Muslims. That's how you promote Islam. Islam right. becomes stronger when you victimize Muslims. Islam becomes weaker when you try to reach out to Muslims and you befriend Muslims. Fight Islam by befriending Muslims. Promote Islam by victimizing Muslims. I mean, we have so much ex data and examples to show that how it works. And you know, people feel like, oh, we're defeating Islam by, by being dicks to Muslims. That, that, it's not how it works. Sorry. Um, let me see what the top comment is. Dicky is saying this is the result of, result of having religious beliefs as a standard of the laws. My country is really messed up. Oh, so we got the top comment was from Indonesia. Thank you for that. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.